Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel the Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. We got the power of number four. Some of you Scorpios could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Power of number nine, you could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Power of number five, you may also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. But adding up the power of the numbers brings us to the number 18, 18 in tarot is the moon card. You may also be dealing with the Cancerian, picking up on Leo and Virgo energy born in the month of August. Also picking up on Capricorn and Aquarius energy born in the month of January. Straight up Capricorn, straight up Leo energy, picking up also too Sagittarius. Uh, some of you could have been born in 1981, 1984, 1985, and or possibly 1989 for some of you. You could have been born in 1951, 1954, 1958, or possibly 1959 for my more mature audience. Okay, so power of number 18. Let's see what's going on for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There you go. Almost went over my counting. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? Show me what's up. The Four of Pentacles, somebody is withholding or maybe you're holding back from something or someone, Scorpio. You could also be saving up your money right now, maybe to make some form of an investment in regards to your future financial success. This can also be about you. Maybe you are an entrepreneur, saving up some money, figuring out how to get reserve capital or working capital in order to get your business up and running off the ground. However, a lot of you right now could be protecting your heart chakra at this moment, probably because of past former painful experiences and any form of trauma that you have endured before in the past with a particular lover or maybe a friend and or a family member, okay? Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. <clears throat> what is this withholding energy, trusted ancestors? You could be withholding back from a Leo or a Virgo more specifically, but something about finding a new sense of strength getting your courage and your confidence back up and running again. It could very well be true that you're very confident within your financial life or maybe even your work life. Some of you have even found what your life's purpose is or what you feel you're meant to do. However, maybe when it comes to the romantic aspect of your life that you could still feel like, you know, maybe trailing behind a bit, okay? So I do feel like Spirit saying, hey, Scorpio, don't give up. The one is coming for you. And you may think, yeah, I keep hearing that, I keep hearing that, blah, blah, blah. But I also like to question you. Are you actually physically putting in the work, meaning mentally, to shift your perspective? Because if you don't fully understand how powerful the subconscious mind is, then where I would start is looking into how does the subconscious mind really truly change 
our matter of perception because 95% of our thoughts dictate our reality. So it could very well be true that you might need to do a little bit more research <clears throat> on how to shift this energy frequency within you through your thoughts so that this newfound sense of confidence comes forward. You're feeling good about yourself. You feel like you're attracting things. You're living in the end game, the end result. However, there could definitely be a Leo or a Virgo that definitely wants to head in your direction. More specifically, um, I do feel for those of you dealing with the Leo or the Virgo that this Leo or Virgo was very, Virgo was very wishy-washy in and out, a player, etc. Um, they could very much be deeply watching you on social media, seeing what your next move is going to be, what's the next picture, what's the ne next selfie, whatever the case may be. But I'm also picking up that you're waiting and or holding back possibly Scorpio for this other newfound sense of momentum that could definitely hit you up in the season of Leo. Leo time frame for me, like I love Leo season. I feel so empowered during Leo season. It's like, I'm ready to roar, baby. I'm ready to take on my little Scorpio self and I'm ready to take on that lion. You know, when the lion roars, okay? Ready to take back pride rock. And maybe that's where you're at, Scorpio. Making plans for the future. It could very well be true over the next two days and or next 14 days outward. You're going to have happen to get the new vision. You're going to get the new vision. You're going to have mental clarity. You're going to be putting some plans that maybe you had on the back burner or were, you know, withholding. And it almost feels like you're going to be proceeding forward with this motivation and it's like thank god because it feels to me that if you've been struggling with procrastination it kind of feels like this procrastination feeling is going to dissolve and almost be completely obliterated okay because on the bottom of the deck i have you moving into either king and or queen of pentacles so your future success right now is dependent upon your level of confidence, but there could also be the earthly aspect, the tangible, meaning your finances, your money, your investment, or waiting for the money to come in in order to proceed and or move forward. So a lot of you could feel like you're kind of cooling your heels right now. And, you know, you could be getting a little bit anxious or some anxiety could be, you know, pent up right now because maybe you haven't made all of that progressive movement, right? This could be the time frame right now. If things are really dull and boring, this is the time to appreciate the silence before the lion of the roar comes out. The roar of the lion, okay? And that inner lion within you to now finally go the distance. Now you've captured the vision and there is going to be nothing that is going to stop you. Okay, so let's go into the Kipper deck. The wealthy man, somebody could definitely be keeping an eye on you or... This is somebody who is well-to-do. This could be a lawyer, a doctor, an investor, somebody or a banker who may want to grant you your wish or a loan, possibly. Somebody who wants to invest in what it is that you're doing. Sudden wealth coming into some kind of jackpot type of energy. The seven, seven, seven. Ding, 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 ding. You could also be thinking about going off to Las Vegas for a little R&R &R and a little bit of fun and excitement, possibly. But play responsibly, Scorpio, okay? Um, you could be thinking about going out to Vegas maybe in the month of August of 2023 for some of you. But this is, this is like hitting the jackpot. This is hitting the jackpot. Whatever the vision or the dream or the goal is... Something is propelling it forward, but it definitely feels like it's on the earthly platform or just money coming in unexpectedly, and now you're raring to go. Yes, beautiful Lady Fortuna energy coming in. Thank you, Lady Fortuna. 
great fortune and great blessings, but I don't care for the word blessings. I like the word rewarded, rewarded for your patience, rewarded for your motivation, the reward for not giving up, not giving up on yourself. Because once you give up, Scorpio, guess what? You know what happens after you give up? Mm, nothing. You're just back down to ground zero. And spirit's just going to be questioning you. It's like, oh, well, okay. You wanted to give up on this. You weren't willing to hold out. You know what I mean? So a lot of you have been on the verge of quitting something just because you're getting impatient. You don't know what to do. It could be a YouTube channel. It could be uh, a home-based business. You could just be feeling overwhelmed and it could be that you got too many irons in the fire, but there is real momentum coming in with this beautiful, great fortune. And this is because you're being obedient to spirit. And it's not like spirit's trying to keep you under its thumb, Scorpio. Spirit is within you, but when you are obedient to spirit, guess what? You're being obedient to yourself. Hold the vision of your future success. Don't quit, okay? My awesome and amazing Scorpios, <clears throat> if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, Take care.